It's the biggest question on Britain's minds, and one that Parliament tried to make sure the country would not have to answer. The House did vote to reject no deal, but that cannot What would happen if the UK left the EU without a deal? The official predictions have been sobering, from immediate shortages of food and medicines as ports block up, to a 9% fall in GDP, a 30% drop in house prices, and sharp interest rate hikes. In other words, disaster, says this campaigner who fought for Parliament to have the final say. No deal will be an absolute catastrophe. No deal means no transition. So that means in the morning of the 30th of March, everything would have to be in place. So we would have to start from scratch. And also this idea that we were we will be able to replicate exactly the same is impossible because if you think about it we are 65 million people compared to half a billion in the eu so we just don't have the same clout but with unemployment at a 43 year low and exports still growing brexiteers say the country is well equipped it shouldn't be thought of as no deal it should be thought of as a different deal we in fact have generally referred to it as a world trade deal where you stop the obsession about trying to have a special arrangement with the EU. The EU's own research predicts the lion's share of growth over the next decade will come from outside the bloc, and leavers want Britain to be able to capitalise on that trend. The biggest benefit is that you can do free trade deals uh, with all the countries in the world, and we, re we calculate that to be about a 4% increase in GDP. Secondly, you... Uh, have your own regulation that is tailored to the UK. You can get rid of the, the, the dead hand of EU regulation, and we calculate that that is about another two percentage points increase in GDP. Whether a no deal Brexit ends up being a blessing or a curse depends to a large extent on whether the UK can trade under World Trade Organization rules after leaving the EU. Now aside from the fact that that could make a whole range of goods including some of these clothes on this London High Street subject to significant tariffs, it's also unclear as to whether the WTO rules today would need to be brought up to date with more modern aspects of the British economy. Leaving with no deal means leaving every single EU institution and we would have to have those replicated on the morning of the 30th of March so that's a medicals agency a, um, a chemicals agency the list goes on and on we have not one ready as ever with brexit the theory paints one picture and the practicalities another and until March the 29th no one will really know if no deal is or isn't the way to go Nina dos Santos CNN London